<laughs> so <laughs> I'm excited. I'm filming with a new with with a new friend today, and he's letting me shoot his Type 81. Check this baby out with the last round bolt hold open. Holding stock. That thing's sweet. What I'd like to do anyways is show maybe a couple differences when it comes to wood finished guns. They're not in the same timeline. This one's made 1932. This is a KP31. Uh, it's a, how do you pronounce it? A Sumi? Somi? Sumi? It's one of them. It's a finished product. It's a nine mil. It used to be a full auto. We'll start off with it because it's the smallest caliber. Making it look good, you know? As always. Um, I'm just going to see if I can't hit that plate in the middle. I don't know if I actually hit it or not. I don't think I hit it. I want to try again. I can, I can hit it. I can do it. Finally! Woo! Going for that 1 in 10 record! <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna this up there. Everybody already knows how 12 gauge is. How am I gonna hang this up? Eh, it's probably not gonna work. Why didn't I do that this whole time? Let's put it on this one. <laughs> Okay, just got my nine. My only nine. <laughs> All of them accurate that time. <laughs> that was fun. That was really fun. <laughs> I needed that. Okay, I'm gonna try it with the uh, Type 81. This thing is so cool. I want one so bad. And this one's in 762 by 39. The banana mags. Definitely gotta load up a couple more. Um, I don't know. I want to see if I can't hit that plate from 100 yards away. I probably can't. <laughs> I might. I didn't realize how light the trigger was. Um, normally I'll ask people to subscribe. I mean, I don't normally ask people to subscribe. I'll ask, but it's like, I don't know. It's a weird area for me. I'm, I, I like making content because I am under the impression that there's people out there who are interested in the same things that I'm interested in. And so they'll subscribe if they want to subscribe. I don't need to ask them to. <laughs> I suck at bump firing, dude. I suck so much. Okay, so I want to send this at a jug. Just to show you the difference between, well, 7.62 and, well, 9 mil. It's kind of an unfair difference, but... I used warm water. I felt like I was carrying a jug of piss. 7.62 by 39 time. They're seated nice. <laughs> 762 by 39. Getting better at that. <laughs> smack, 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 smack. <laughs> this is way too cool. 
you have any history on the Type 81? Uh, it's a Chinese rifle. I think it's made in the 80s, if I'm not mistaken. That's why it's 81. But, um, oh, it's in 81? Yeah. Um, oh, I'm not exactly for sure on the year. But it, it is the Chinese version of the AK. Um, they made it, I believe, after the Soviets were getting upset that they were uh, copying the Kalashnikov design. Because the Chinese originally had the, um, the Type 56 rifle, which was a Kalashnikov cone, or clone, I should say. But, so the Chinese developed their own version, which is more similar to the SKS in terms of its action. And it's got a last round bolt hole open. Yes, yes, that's the main <laughs> main differentiator. I don't want to stop shooting it. I don't know what to shoot it at. It's just, there's nothing else to shoot at right now, but oh. I don't want to stop shooting it. You could try hitting the plate now. Go for the 100 yard one? Yeah, the same, uh, what did I say? Like almost two feet to the right. Yeah, like, and then that, that, well, essentially, if you aim for the right side plate, you're going to hit the left side plate, so that's okay. a better a better reference. Okay. Close. I think that was just under. That was low, yeah. I'm not accurate with this at all. <laughs> well, I think I, I'm accurate with it. I'm accurate enough. I'm accurate enough. Second time ever trying a 760 by 39 anything. Whew, okay. I need to chill and go back into familiar territory. <sighs> My short barreled shotgun. My Canadian standard short barreled shotgun. <laughs> yes, it is eight and a half inches long from here, I believe. I'm just gonna go put uh, a plate back up real quick so then Buckshot has something to ting against. Seven six two by thirty nine. I, I want to blame the stopping power, but then again, it's also probably traveling about 2,000 feet faster than that. Yeah, <laughs> Nine I, I was. think roughly, yeah, at least double, if not 1.5. <laughs> at yeah. least. So it was an unfair comparison, but we got to see a fun splash. <laughs> right. The way this works, it's not a swivel. You pull the trigger guard back, and then the barrel break. You cannot cock it. If the safety's on. Got it. Woo. This is a fireball maker, bro. <laughs> And now three inch high brass target load. Oh, I love this thing so much. I mean, like, I can just shoot this all day. Like, what's gonna get sore is my fingers. I'm just gonna adjust where I'm holding it and hold it down a little bit lower, like down by the stock, like down here. That poor plate. <laughs> that poor plate. I don't have a theme for this video. My friend just brought his Type 81 and I just really wanted to make a video with it. This is my wood finish gun. Finish. I should have brought my Mauser. Next time. <laughs> can I can I do another two mags with this? Yeah? I feel like a kid in a candy shop, dude. <laughs> I've always wanted to shoot a 762 by 39 anything. Like, I shot an SKS once, but that was, like, when I first moved out to Alberta, so that was, like, 2014, and that was the first gun I ever shot, ever, and it almost left my hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it almost jumped out of my hand. Yeah, I have an SKS, too, actually. I was just like, holy hell, not, like, in the video games. I was, like, 19. Yeah, I was, like, 19 when I shot my first 
Yeah, yeah guns definitely have way more recoil than they show in video games. Except for Tarkov. Tarkov exaggerates it. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Yeah. Oh, a lot of VR games exaggerate. Yeah, yeah. You'll be like, in my games, I'll be like this. Boom, 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 boom. And then in the game, it's like this. But like when I'm actually shooting my 45, you'll see I'm like <laughs> holding it still. Can I? I'm good. Can I try to do that? That was it called? Bump fire? No, the uh, Israeli reload. Oh, the Iraqi reload. Iraqi yeah. reload. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I, I think I, I think I made a racist. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not. Iraqis are proud of their reloads. Oh, are they really? Yeah, they are, yeah. Okay, so it's like... And then... Oh, okay, I see. Ooh, getting good! <laughs> getting good! <laughs> Okay, so already did a Iraqi reload. I might as well just do the whole Iraqi one hand, right? <laughs> Iraqi one hand. And then pack two cool reload. Okay, that's difficult to do. So I'm just gonna do this. Pull that out. Pull this back. Charge it again because I missed it. And then Iraqi one hand again. See if I can't actually hit. <laughs> I guess see if I can't hit that plate. It's like, you know when the sand and the dust and the sandstorm is in your eyes? The, all that stuff that you just gotta cover your head and go... <laughs> see if you can't hit your target. <laughs> I missed every single one in between both of those pieces of plywood. Every single one. It's a good grouping, but I missed all of them. Okay. Doing the... Showing off the fabulous KB-31. Oh, I, what I forgot to make mention about this thing, because it was a submachine gun, uh, the barrel comes apart, right? Good for packing, and if it gets hot, becomes a hot barrel, then, well, you know what? You can put a different barrel on there, maybe even a shorter one if you have it. In there, it's not a Type 81. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, whoa, modern day. <laughs> Come here. This one's way easier to release mag than that Type 81. I still want it though. And then, last but very clearly not least, the tube. The tube. Sometimes you get bad shells. Like this one here, you see it's got that lip on it. That's not gonna wanna feed through very many things, my semi-auto very nicely at all. But cram it in the tube, <laughs> give it a life, little love boop, and just go send it. And it fixes itself. <laughs> 762 by 39, type 81. That's so awesome, dude. That's a good one. <laughs> it, it takes me a couple of tries, but then I get it. Yeah. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. <laughs> That's just good cut right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it loaded fine. <laughs>